and today we're looking at a Nemesis PCB uh, with no CPU clock. Now I've traced the clock over to the back of well, the B board on the bottom. Um, there's a oscillator here and this LS107 here is where the oscillator goes through to generate the main CPU clock. Now if I'm right, one, two, three, four, five. Got me round backwards. Now that should be a uh, 4 MHz output signal and it's just showing low. So it looks like potentially that 107 is shorted and I'm just going to replace it. Now the 107 has been replaced but that didn't fix the problem. It seems that this 7474 is also dead so I'm just going to replace that now. Actually that's getting really hot. So yeah that's definitely dead. That's about to burn up actually. And the 7474 is replaced. And the game now boots and play sort of semi-blind. You can see some, uh, some of the sprites actually appear. The, the player ship's missing, the star field's a mess, the alpha numerics are missing. Right, I've swapped out the 5295 and the 5293 Konami custom chips and we have game. Obviously not easy to play one-handed, but yeah, let's just, just try to play it through a bit further just to make sure. Ugh. That seems to be working fine. So yeah, these uh, these two made it a bit of an expensive repair, but well, at least it's all working now. <laughs> 